Hi, I'm Anna Gonzalez. I'm the Notre Dame hockey blogger, and this year I figured it would be good for me to learn how to play the sport I write about. So welcome to Hockey 101. Usually it's pretty cute to watch someone learn hockey for the first time, but that's usually because they're three or four years old. This isn't as cute as it is just awkward. Before I could even get on the ice, I had to put on the uniform. The equipment that hockey players wear isn't heavy at all, but what it lacks in weight, it makes up for in bulk and sheer amount. Everything that I had to wear and put on in this order were shin pads, socks, a girdle to hold up the socks, then the pants, and then finally the skates. After that, I moved to the upper body, shoulder pads, followed by elbow pads, then the jersey, helmet, gloves, and finally the stick. That's Dave Gilbert helping me out. He's the team's equipment manager and put together the whole uniform for me. Call up a D. Thunder Bay. Assistant coach Paul Pooley was on his way out of practice, and he even stopped in to give me a few pointers. Very nice. Bend over, you stick like this on your knees. Go right on your knees, like right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should probably introduce you to my two coaches for the day. This is Stephen Fogarty. He's a junior center from Edina, Minnesota, and the captain this year. And this is Sam Hare. He's a junior left wing from Hinsdale, Illinois, and an alternate captain. Finally, we needed a goalie. So this is Cal Peterson. He's a freshman from Waterloo, Iowa. Statistics will tell you that his first shutout of his collegiate career was against Niagara. But that's not completely true. It was against me. Yeah, they got three hard strides, though. That's yeah, what that's like what we do. Hockey, we always on the ice and do three hard strides. That's a sick thing, though. It's like right on. You fall, you fall. You're probably going to fall. Okay. 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 Yes, I did it. Just kidding. I actually only fell like three or four times the entire lesson, which is pretty good. So this was during a stick handling drill that the guys had me do. The point of the drill is to skate over the pucks lined up on the ice while moving another puck in between them. In this drill, which is both a stick handling and shooting exercise, the skater goes around the circle painted on the ice and then shoots on the goalie when he, or she in my case, gets around. Clearly I took my time getting around. When that drill was over, Sam asked this question. Which led to this disaster. Are you laughing yet? Really, it's okay if you do. This is called a toe drag. Steven and Sam called it the Henestrosa special because sophomore Vince Henestrosa is apparently pretty good at it. They said it's an extremely hard skill to master, which is why you won't see it often in the pros. <laughs> they also taught me the three main kinds of shots the wrist shot, the snap shot, and of course, the slap shot. All three are pretty unique and are used in different situations during a game. The only one I was even a little good at was the slap shot, which you can see me doing here. This is called tipping. It's basically a way for forwards to block the goalie's line of sight and redirect the puck, making it harder for him to save. Sam said people get paid big money to perfect this. I honestly think my favorite part of the lesson that day was learning how to do face-offs. There's so much more technique and strategy involved in them than you can see from the stands. Well, even though I was no good, I learned a lot and appreciate the sport so much more. In all honesty, either Steven or Sam could end up being actual coaches someday. As for me, my Olympic dreams are over. I should probably just stick to watching hockey from here on out.